Everything's unfolding as it should And I would be more grateful if I could If the world is an image in my mind Here's today's advent colourway. What are we on now? Day number seven. Gosh, seven. Um, it's a blue with, well, you can see speckles of pink and yellow some purple and red yeah, it's just a really pretty colourway and this is called you can't eat them, they're for Christmas how many times have you heard that as a kid and I hear myself saying it now as an adult too and the inspiration is from these and it's one of those things that, you know, we, we buy the tins of biscuits for Christmas and then we say, oh, you can't eat them, they're for Christmas. I do it all the time. Nick will go and get something out of the cupboard and I'll say, you can't eat them, they're for Christmas. So we have, um, we open a tin of roses every year when we put the tree up and that's our tradition. This tin's a new, well, it's a tub, it's a new one. We had one of the... Um, Emma Bridgewater tins, like I'm sure most of us or a lot of us did this year. And yeah, we opened that when we put up the tree. But yeah, that's that colourway inspiration. You can't eat them, they're for Christmas. <laughs> I just thought I didn't show you the last couple of days' colours because I forgot them, so I'll just lay these out and give you a whiz. So that was day one. Look at all the mess here, my house keys are there. Look. It's Vlogmas. Day two was mistletoe kisses. Day three was wreath making. Day four was, oh, what did I call it now? I can't remember. Twinkle, it was something to do with putting up the twinkle lights, wasn't it? This one's handmade with love. We've got vintage baubles. I showed you those baubles yesterday, didn't I? And then we've got you can't eat them, them they're for Christmas. So that's our first seven days. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with mine yet. I made a habitation throw last year, which Jeff adores. I'll pop a picture in here. He loves it. He wears it at work and snuggles up in it. I'll show you a picture, but um, yeah. I'm going to knit my Mr B's yarn first, but... Um, Again, I'm not decided what I'm going to do. It won't be until Christmas break anyway, but, yep, here we are. It's going to be a bit of a shorter vlog today, just because it's just been so busy, but um, I've, still, I've got some important information to announce later. Hi, friends. And just like that, it's 7.30, and... I've just had a shower and sat in bed. Is that weird? Vlogging to you from bed? I don't think so. When when I went to Edinburgh Yarn Festival with my friend, we each had our own bedroom um, and we had king size beds. It was beautiful, it was a beautiful apartment. Um, but in the morning, we'd congregate in one or the other's bed, get a cup of tea, get a drink, and then we'd sit in bed watching a podcast and nattering and knitting. It was perfect. Same, I've been on a few little jollies with my friend Deb and it's the same, we just congregate in each other's beds to have a little knit. It's fine. And yeah, so I thought that's what we'd do today. I haven't had a lot to show you today, it's just been crazy, crazy busy. I'm so, so thankful and blown away for the response to our Rainbow Yarn Chronicles. Um, so yeah, between now and Christmas really is going to be quite full on. So I was at work this morning at half six, which suits me perfectly. I'm a real morning person. I function at my best in the morning. Um, so yeah, it suits me just to get to work, get it done. Um, I, you know, we've got everything set up there. I've got a little kitchenette so I can make myself breakfast and things. So I thought in 2021, I really hope to continue with the podcast. I think I've only done about five episodes and the last one was in July. So I can't really claim to have a podcast, but it's my goal. I want to do it sort of every fortnightly. 
it won't be weekly just because I don't feel I have enough to show you um, but we'll see but my goal is for fortnightly but some of the things I've been working on or are working on will be given away so I figured if we look at them today have a chat about them and then um, can kind of start fresh in the new year I guess I've got some really exciting plans <laughs> so anybody after that might bite the hands when they're excited so I started a love note this has been on hold just for a little bit while I've been finishing off gift knits and things but I wanted to knit myself a garment and I started a love note oh hang on it's inside out um I really shouldn't have started it when I started it because it was when Nick's dad was really poorly and I had to rip the lace out twice but that's certainly not a reflection on the pattern that's just a reflection on me at that point in time so what I did was on my third attempt instead of um, doing the lace I took some pick and mix minis from the yarn wall and I just striped them in I think there was 15 rows of lace so I just did um, right three six nine twelve fifteen yeah so I had five colours and did three rows of each and just striped them in but I think it looks really cool I'm gonna do it a bit longer I think than the love note I don't think a cropped although I do wear quite a lot of dresses now which I didn't used to and that's kind of what this is for just to you know pop over a dress but I really like it with that striped band I think it's really effective so this will be my plan in the new year, uh, not new year, Christmas break is going to be to work on this. I'm doing the helical knitting, so alternating every couple of rows. That's fine, it's the easiest thing once you're just getting the hang of it. So yeah, I'm just whizzing down the body. So that's that one. So I should hopefully get that finished in the new year. I know you're all waiting with bated breath for me to pull out a leg of lamb from this project bag or I don't know some fancy cocktail just wait there's nothing in these bags chill out just enjoy the knitting we will get to the project bag picnic shortly I know that's what you're all here for you only want to watch me either burn my house down or pull a leg of lamb out of a project bag don't deny you so that's that noise I made this hat for my dad I've still got to say my pom pom on this is the slipped slipped rib hat by Jodie Brown I'll try it on for you but I say it's for me dad and it'll have a pom can you see yeah it's good I enjoyed this pattern it's a DK and Floof. It's the Surrey Alpaca. What's that one? I've just got that bit there to weave in. So yeah, that's that. So that'll be going off to me dad. I'm sure you can all remember if you follow me on Instagram, I had an absolute obsession with the magpie hat. I made about made about must be six or seven. But they've all been for gifts. But apart from this one, I think I'm going to keep this one. It's a bit more pink than showing, but yeah, I think I'll keep this one. So that's the magpie hat. I'm sure you've all seen this before. I really like it. There's another one, blue one. This one's for Megan. I've just got a, it's a folded brim. I just need to whip stitch that up. I think the pattern actually says to, I think you knit it together. I think you pick up the stitch and join it as you're knitting, but I find that a bit cumbersome. So I just whip stitch it at the end and that's worked really fine. Let me show you on this one. See, but I mean, it's okay, isn't it? In the inside of your hat. From the outside, you, you don't, you don't know. 
that's a blue one and the grey pom pom. Then I made a lilac y one with all pink and lilac and mauve. And this, I love this blush pink pom pom. That's another gift. And then I made a Tchaikovsky hat. Oh gosh, this really isn't that red. I mean, it is really red, but not that red. Um, I made this for my mother-in-law. She asked for it. This is in our 1969 colourway, which is the year Debbie and Charlie got married, my in-laws. And it's her favourite colour, so that's why we named it that. So that's that. And then the other thing I've finished recently again I've still got a few ends to weave in I've been doing a few a night I've made this jumper for Megan for Christmas she does know she's seen it the pattern is the comfy cozy raglan by Jessie May designs and the pattern is for just a plain raglan jumper but I added these rainbow stripes of colouring which was so simple so simple. Um, I'd seen that on the Grocery Girls, Jodie had done similar, um, so yeah I was really inspired by that. And where the colour, I did three rows and on the colour change row I just did knit one, slip one. You see, it's really effective I think. And then I popped it on the cuffs as well, I knit my cuffs in the rainbow colours. I think it's really cool. Megan's really pleased with it. She wanted it more cropped, so it's a lot more cropped than the pattern. But yeah, so that's that finished, or will be when I weave the ends in. And the only thing I'm working on really at the minute, I'm working on my crochet rainbow blanket, but I've finished my red palette, so I've got to wait for the next one to be dyed. So I'm working on, oh, hang on, the inside out. I always knit things inside out. I don't intentionally, I didn't know that wasn't normal until it was pointed out to me. But yeah, I always do, hats, jumpers, anything. A bit weird, isn't it? So this is, going. Oh, I'm not going to be able to show it you very well. Oh, and my book's over there. Oh, never mind. I'll show you this next time, another time. It's a cowl. It's a new Hohe Locatelli pattern that's in the Interpretation 7 book. Um, so you've got this sort of lacy textured top and you go into some stripes and then it's got um, a little lace border. Oh, here's another thing I finished. See, I wasn't lying when I said I need finished some magpie mittens but they need their thumbs see I'm, I'm terrible I'm I knit these mittens in a couple of afternoons and an evening and now the thumbs have just been waiting for thumbs for weeks I, I'm honestly I'm doing my own flipping head in um, what else? Oh, finished this. A snuggled down cowl. Again, obviously I haven't wove the ends in. I mean, why would you? Um, so yeah, I finished that. That's another gift for Christmas. So that I do have to weave these ends in. Might do that tonight, actually. So that's that. That's it. So... Let's address our, oh guys, no, I had a mystery package, I had this parcel come to work today, I had no idea who it was from, and the card, let me see, it just says Shropshire's Premier Vlogger, honestly, but you guys, you're so kind to me, you're so warm and welcoming and embracing and I don't I don't deserve this I don't 
don't I don't deserve it, but I don't know who you are. Can you please, please, please let me know who you are? And I want to thank you properly. But honestly, I would shall I show you? It's beautiful. I've got some new mittens. And these are just gonna be perfect for walking Jeff and vlogging. Oh, we've got vloggers mittens. It's just beautiful. And then it's like a pin. And oh, look at this. So, so kind and thoughtful. And I'm truly, truly, truly thankful and grateful. And please, I feel I ought to know who you are. And I'm ashamed to say I don't. But, um, Please let me know so I can thank you properly. But oh, I love you. You made my day. You really did. Gosh, they're really warm. Really warm. She's probably a vlogger. So kind. So I have notes. We need to address our. Um, revelations from last night don't we so the ironing board ironing pile jenga not so many of you are with me on that one but a lot of you are with me with project bag picnics there's a hashtag we've got a hashtag hashtag is it show us hang on i'll have a look i'm sure it show us what's in your pro show us your project bag Claire from Bird Street UK, she tagged me earlier and um, let's have a look Claire, what did you put? Um, here we go, hashtag show us inside your project bag, so let's use hashtag show us inside your project bag, hashtag ready made notions pouches and let's um, Let's follow the hashtag. Don't be ashamed. Show us what's inside your bag. I know somebody's going to have a wonderful cocktail in there. Debbie, you're going to get some mini cans of gin and tonic. They fit in perfectly, I know. I mean, if I can fit a pop of cider, those little mini cans, brilliant. There's a few people. Ah, Christina, yes. She suggested or highlighted the need to keep a balanced diet. It might it might come across that um, I'm a bit frivolous with my with my dietary choices, but I am not. I rest assured I'm not. A balanced diet is utmost, and I always have my five a day. My marzipan fruits with my um, yogurt in the morning they set you up wonderfully. Five of those little chocolate covered marzipan fruits, and you're away. Don't blend them. Don't do a smoothie. Just have them out the box. Fine, it's lovely. So, yep, yeah, you're right, Christina. And you eat the marzipan fruits too, so that was a good tip. Mandy. Now, Mandy, she's right. It's not a revelation in the crafting community how we like to match our notions to our projects. You often see that with the big vloggers and podcasters, don't you? That they have, you know, all matchy-matchy. We like to have everything matching. And Mandy said we absolutely need to match our notions to our projects. And the notions pouch I showed yesterday, while they're not individually wrapped, which is a positive, they can get a bit sticky. Now, if you're using like the Suri Alpaca or a mohair, the last thing you need is sticky fingers, isn't it? Oh, no. So Mandy suggests we use a sugar-coated energy ball, such as um, a minstrel an M&M, &M, even a Smartie, a Smartie might even do it. So that's a really good point, Mandy, really good point. So thank you for that. Mairead, though, I mean, you're absolutely right. You don't need to touch them. You can just tip your head back and throw them in. You don't, you don't need to touch them even. So yeah, no, you can avoid sticky fingers if, if your notes and pouch of choice is not sugar-coated. Just tip them in. Um, bum, bum, what else did I have to say? 
Well, Tracy, good point. A polo mint can be an emergency stitch marker. You can. I used to commute on the train um, and I was always using them blooming little stitch markers on the train. So a polo mint, perfect. Pop it on. On a serious note, Sue wants any um, recommended sugar-free chocolate. Apparently they all taste like, I mean, I, I wouldn't know. I, I'm not your girl. But, um, yeah, they taste like cooking chocolate, which is not good, is it? So if anybody knows of any really good sugar-free chocolate, if we could let Sue know, that would be fab. Thimble and Thread Makes Tracy. You, you all know Tracy, I'm sure. She makes project bags. She does have a YouTube podcast as well, though she hasn't done that for a little while, but she does Instagram stories and things. She's lovely. And we met at the Nottingham meetup a couple of years ago, I think. No, must be. But Tracy's also the lady that invented the canvas cube. You know, the one where you can pop your pins, um, enamel pins on and things without them snagging. She was genius, absolute genius. Um, so I reckon we can task Tracy or Jilly makes. I have put the feelers out with Jilly. I've told them we need our project bags designed and marketed properly, frankly. What I would really like, though, is a little insulated pocket, you know, like a little mini cool bag. So if you do have to put your ham sandwich in, and a pork pie, even a scotch egg, um, and a couple of cans of gin and tonic, one of them squeezy frozen cocktails. If we can pop that in the insulated pocket, I think that's a winner. So I'm going to leave that with the girls. I'm going to let them ponder. <laughs> oh, gosh. You see, you guys shouldn't encourage me with this nonsense because I just roll with it. But what I do wonder is... Um, I know Jackie left a, a really heartfelt message and she's been shielding since March, her and her husband and gosh that's tough isn't it but I wondered does anybody fancy a little Zoom project bag picnic meeting maybe and we can all bring a project bag picnic and just have a little knit and a half hour's chatter what do you reckon? Let me know if you do and we can, in all serious now, we can perhaps arrange to do that, can't we? And have a little natter and a catch up. That'd be really cool. Anyway, guys, I'm going to I'm gonna go. I'm going to go and get ready for, settle down for the evening, just have an hour for back to work in the morning. Thank you for your company. Thank you for your friendship and your chatter. Tomorrow's video will be far better. There's some lovely craft things coming up. Um, I've already filmed that I filmed it yesterday actually so yeah that's coming up tomorrow um, yeah that's it oh I'm just going to pop a tiny video in at the end here showing the first seven days of advent and explaining today's colourway which is you can't eat them they're for Christmas so I'll leave you with that little video and I'll see you tomorrow Thanks for watching, thanks for chatting, thanks for for all the banter and the the fun and please use that hashtag on Instagram. Let's let's continue the giggles and the conversation. Lots of love. Bye.